Canada urges Taliban to reverse decision on banning women from NGO world. Hi everyone, welcome to AI News. Ottawa, Canada's International Development Minister is calling on the Taliban to reverse its decision to ban women from working at non-governmental organizations in Afghanistan. Harjit Sajjan comments come as a several major international aid group announces plans to suspend operations in the country taken over by Taliban. A listed terrorist entity in August 2021. Millions have been thrown in poverty since then and are now facing hunger. With the United Nations estimating as many as 6 million Afghans are currently at risk of famine. The International Committee of the Red Cross has also reported an increase in malnutrition and phenomena among children, with concerns only mounting given the onset of winter. In the light of Taliban's decision, Save the Children, K International and the Norwegian Refugee Council issued a joint statement saying they cannot provide the assistance needed without their female staff and were suspending programs. Our government is deeply concerned about the recent decision by the Taliban to ban non-governmental organization NGOs women employees from doing their important work in Afghanistan. Sajan said in a statement Sunday, they are contributing to the critical work of meeting the urgent humanitarian needs of the Afghan people. We urge the Taliban to reverse this decision because it will only lead to greater suffering of the Afghan people. Sajan is assessing what impact MOVE will have and plan to reach out to international partners and international groups in the region his office added. Canadian humanitarian group have already said they have been unable to deliver aid because the Canadian government has yet to find a workaround to its anti-terrorism laws, which official warns group they could be violating if they pay people in Afghanistan for service such as providing transportation or purchasing goods. Citing Canada sanctions, a spokesperson at the Canadian Red Cross, which is part of a coalition of eight groups pushing Prime Minister Justin government to find accommodations for them to work in the region, said it is not affected by the Taliban's decision. Sajjan has said his government plans to amend the criminal code to provide a workaround for aid groups, but said no changes could be introduced until at least spring 2023. The Taliban's banning of women at non-governmental organization, NGO, has sparked outcry among international aid organizations such as UNICEF, whose executive director said the move a blatant violation of both international humanitarian law and women's rights. These decisions will have far-reaching consequences for the delivery of essential services for children and families across the country, especially in the areas of health, nutrition, education and child protection areas, where female humanitarian workers have an immeasurably important role to play, Catherine Dussel said in a statement. The International Committee of the Red Cross say it employs hundreds of women in Afghanistan and is particularly concerned about what the Taliban's decision means for those in its healthcare system. The Canadian government has long expressed concerns about the treatment of the women and girls in Afghanistan, including last week when Foreign Minister Malani Jolly joined her counterparts in Ali countries to condemn the Taliban's bearing of women from universities and girls from the secondary schools. They issued a statement at the time saving, saying such policies will have consequences from how our countries engage with the Taliban. Thank you.